Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm sorry that I haven't been posting many videos lately. I've been trying to film a lot of fishing videos because that's what you guys seem to really like. But sadly, the fish haven't been biting. So I've decided to make a 500k video because I've just got half a million subscribers. Thank you so much for that. That was something that I never thought would happen, getting 500,000 people to subscribe to my channel. It's like... It's crazy and recently one of my videos, my stingray birthing video, got 10 million views so that's actually really cool. I'm really happy about that. But in this video I'm going to be just telling you a bit about myself and how I started this channel and my plans for the future. Or as a lot of you guys know I was actually inspired by Steve Irwin and a few other YouTubers at the time, Andrew Uckles and other people like that. And almost every day I was going down my creek system and catching turtles and other stuff like that but I didn't have a camera to film it. So two years ago at Christmas, I actually got a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition and I started filming my encounters with wildlife and here is actually the first video ever where I caught a little saw shell turtle straight out of my creek. Hey, today we're going to be trying to catch a turtle, freshwater turtle. Now I've just been going up and down here, feeling around with my feet for it. When you see something, feel something move, you press down and you go get it. Well, I haven't found anything yet. I've had a couple of incidents, but I haven't got them, so. Now this right here is the rib turtle. You find these up all across the Sunshine Coast region. As you can see, very fast swimmers, little webbed feet. Yeah, so that was actually the first video on my channel. It's actually pretty cool. Got about 30 views. Yep, pretty good. And I was like, I need to make more of these videos because it was really fun to just upload them onto my channel. So after posting a few more videos about the wildlife that I found around my creek, I went up the creek one day and a lot of you guys might have seen this video. I think it's got 5 million views or something, but it's my eel video where I go up the creek and catch a huge eel. We're just looking in places like this, where there's creeks and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. You might not be able to see it now. I'll get a shot of it underwater. That eel's like, that's massive. Right, so I got the bait on. Yeah, I got the bait on, so I'm just gonna drop it in. Okay, I'm gonna strike. Okay, these long fin deals, right? Get this. Oh. I just put all that in my hair. Now, that was the first video on my channel that went viral. Well, when I say viral, it got like 20,000 views. And luckily at that time, people from America were looking for certain people to fly them over there to be on a TV show. And not many of you guys know this, but Last year, I think it was, I got flown over to America to be on the hit show Little Big Shots. And yeah, well, the people from Little Big Shots they actually saw that eel video, so luckily it went viral. So here's a clip of that right now. If I was in the outback, if I, would, would I survive? No. <laughs> well, then you wouldn't make it in the hood either. <laughs> Any other animals? Oh yeah, I've got one more that I'd like to show you. <laughs> hey man, we're gonna thanks a lot for coming, Miller. Start moving out here. <laughs> Well, after coming back from America, I realized that I'm not allowed to hand native animals here in Queensland. And I was actually pretty surprised about that because I had no idea I was catching snakes, goannas, and other stuff like that. It was fun while it lasted, but I can see why you're not allowed to. You wouldn't want anyone handling the wrong snake and getting hurt. I had 25 videos up on my channel, and sadly I had to take 20 of them down because it was handling the wrong animals here in Queensland. So here's a few clips that you guys wouldn't have seen that used to be up on my channel, but are now taken down. Okay, this is a red belly black snake. One of the top predators around here. 
Oh my god, I caught one. But if I get a bite in a place like this, if I don't get to a hospital within a certain amount of time, I, I'd be done for. Because these have very toxic venom. The tenth most venomous snake in Australia. Yeah, okay. Well, this guy, I'm going to put him back where I found him over in the cave and we might be able to catch a few more for you. Huge turtle. Huge turtle. Just poke his head down. I'm not even sure what type he is. It's like a little hybrid, aren't you, little guy? And he has a very big jaw power. If he got one of my fingers, he'd take it off. Ooh. Watch out, little guy. This right here is the Gwena lace monitor. They're quite common around here, and this one's quite big. I probably shouldn't be taking it on because very strong neck muscles. Probably let this big fella go now. What do you say, mate? Wanna go? Let him go back into the bush. Well, that's an experience I'll never forget. Okay, so one thing that's real interesting with them. Oh, he's not doing it now. But one thing that's really interesting, see this? They actually play dead. Now when you're attacking him, like you can do anything with this guy, but he's actually alive. But seeing as you touch him, he's dead. He's a dead dragon, aren't you, little fella? Yes, you're a dead dragon. But um, if we put him back in the water and let him go, he swims straight away. So you just did another amazing thing about this big fella. Yeah, well, I was pretty bummed that I had to take all those videos down. But the really cool thing that happened was a week later, I traveled out to this awesome creek system and I was in the hopes to catch some stingrays with my bare hands. Now, this is my most viewed video on my channel. It's got over 10 million views, which is crazy I, I didn't think it would get anywhere near that I thought it would get a couple thousand or something like that that's probably what got most of you guys to subscribe to my channel actually it's just incredible I'm so surprised about it but I'm gonna tell you a bit of the background story about that day so we had this kayak that like it was a two-person kayak it was definitely meant for one but it barely floated so we went over to this bank and we pulled up there and um we were trying to get stingrays out of the kayaks we were trying to spot them get out and then catch them and on this day, we did see a lot of stingrays. There was stingrays swimming around everywhere. But it took a few attempts before I could actually catch one with my hands. So after catching one and teaching you guys a bit about them, we were about to leave. We were getting bitten by that many mozzies. I was like, oh, Dad, can we just take a 30-minute walk up the creek? So we parked our kayak, walked up the creek, and as we came back, there was actually a stingray up against our kayak. And I didn't really know what was happening. But um, someone was telling me at the boat ramp where we launched our kayaks, that this time of year the stingrays were actually breeding. So I wasn't sure, I, didn't, I never knew how they gave birth or anything, but I was thinking, do you reckon this one could be giving birth? I, that was the thought at the back of my mind. But yeah, I went over to the stingray and I had a video on my YouTube channel of catching a shovel nose shark. And when I pulled it up to my face like that, um, everyone seemed to think that was really funny. So I was gonna do that with the stingray too. But when I did that, you could actually see at the bottom of the screen a baby stingray popped out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, then I spotted the stingrays and became stingray midwife. That video got, I remember editing it specifically and I'm like, how, how, how did this even happen? I was so surprised. But um, that video got over a million views in less than a week. And in that time, we were actually booking a trip to Bali. So I posted the video just before we went to Bali and I was in Bali when it all happened. There was hundreds of news sites picking up the story, writing articles about it. My channel was getting so many subscribers, so many comments, likes and everything. I was so surprised. It was so cool. It was definitely an experience that I'll never forget because it's like, it'll never happen again. I definitely know that. And well, when I went to Bali, I hooked up with the Bali Reptile Rescue who are an amazing group and they save animals throughout Asia. Now I went over them and I was handling giant Burmese, pythons, highly venomous snakes, king cobras, but definitely my favourite animal over there was the pangolin. They're such a cool and endangered animal, critically endangered. So here's a short clip of one that the Bali Reptile Rescue rescued while I was over there. Okay, so this is the pangolin. They're actually quite an endangered species and they look like basically like a reptile because they got all these little scales. 
They're such a cute little creature. And um, recently, 50,000 of them were smuggled into China illegally. And it's that's what's made them endangered. So you can just see she's coming out now. There's a little baby one over there. It's, they're just such a beautiful little creature. They kind of look like an armadillo, but with scales. Oh, she's so cute. That's by far my favorite animal in Bali, that's for sure. They're such an awesome, but very strange looking creature. And that's just why I love them so much. So after having that amazing experience with Bali Reptile Rescue, I came back over to Australia, started filming more videos for you guys. My channel started to really take off. And well, since then, it's just been really growing. I got my 100,000 subscriber plaque. That was so cool. Hopefully I can get that a million subscriber plaque soon. But yeah, pretty much I'm doing the same thing as I was doing before, filming, editing, and uploading videos for you guys to see. So if you have any... If you have any requests for future videos, make sure you comment them down below because I'll definitely read them, check them out. You never know, you might be seeing a video from you guys in the future. I went to Africa a few years ago and that was so cool. We were right next to lions, zebras, everything. I was patting baby zebras. That was an awesome experience. I went to Marloth Park, if any of you guys know where that is. But yeah, I'm definitely looking to go back there or maybe travel over to America, do some more fishing videos and other stuff like that. And well, thank you so much for getting 500,000 subscribers on my channel. It's all because of you guys, and I cannot thank you enough for that. And if you haven't noticed, it's actually about to rain, so that's why I'm trying to, like, hurry it up a bit, because I don't want to get my brand new camera wet. But yeah, thank you so much, and if you do like these videos, make sure you leave a like on them. It helps my channel grow, and my goal of getting a million subscribers even closer. Hopefully we can reach that milestone very soon. I'll just have to keep uploading videos for you guys. Hurrah. But hopefully within the next week or so, I'll be able to post that cod and catfish fishing video onto my channel. It was actually really fun catching it out of my dragon kayaks. So hopefully we can catch a few more fish out of them soon to make some really good videos. But yeah. Oof. Zoom out. Oh, no, that's in. Plenty more videos coming soon. So thank you so much. Bam.